everybody, welcome to another episode of the Shallow Water Adventures with Keith and Jeffrey. I'm Keith. I'm Jeffrey. Just kidding, no you're not. I know. Jeffrey's a short little guy. <laughs> I'm the little one. I'm the little bald guy. <laughs> the little bald guy. The I like to keep guy. a little bit of fuzz on my head because it's starting to get cold. You get so cold. Well, you have a beard too. I don't yeah. I'm not. You're I'm gonna waiting till November. Waiting till no, oh no shave November. No shave November there exactly. Go. I'm starting early. Well, you're starting early. Good Start job. Jumping the gun. Yep. I got Always. you. Well, welcome everybody. Glad to have you here. Uh, we're excited for this episode. We've got a lot of really fun stuff happening today. So stick with us as usual. Uh, send in your questions. We're going to get to those a little bit later after we have a little bit of fun. Um, but first off, how was your week? What's been going on? I uh, just been busy on the phones. Last week oh. I did get to go out and do some. <laughs> Product testing. Some product yeah, testing. Yeah, I, I went out oh, with good. Clint and we did a little product testing. Did you practice your duck calling? A little bit. Um, I Did we ever go through and count who won? No, I yes, didn't. Did you? Did. I sure did. And I won. Really? I sure did. I had a whole Thanks, bunch. Everybody guys. was so nice to me. Yes. They were still mad at you from the week before, I think. So, I guess, huh? Yeah. I'm like, so I totally won that one. So I'm pretty proud about it. Yeah. I shot a limit of ducks. You did. You I actually did. shot some ducks. So I shot some you, ducks. Did you call it all while you were out? Truthfully? Yes, truthfully. No. Always. This is the shallow water. I told you. Always truthfully. I go with guys who call. They call, I shoot. I didn't shoot very well right off the beginning, but eventually it got warmed up a little bit. And sure. What, are, what do they call it? Clubhouse when you knock down two with one shot? So yeah. I will take that. You got it. You know. <laughs> it only took me 20 or 15 shots to get that, but I Good. did it. <laughs> That's well, fun. excellent. That's good. It was fun. And at six o'clock, what happened? The ducks stopped flying. Then the mosquitoes came out. Yeah, it was horrible. Yeah. Yeah, but it was fun. But it was fun. Good. Good for you. I, on the other hand, spent the whole week um, very cold. Our uh, <laughs> our heater broke oh. at my house this week, so it has been a very chilly, very chilly last few days. So I uh, I live with my brother, and you know we. Uh, we try to be kind of macho about it. So it's like, it, the, the temperature drops, right? And he's like, we're fine. The temperature's gonna come back on. I don't need to turn it on. If you don't need to turn on the heat on, I'm fine, I'm good. So we go like four days of the cold, you know, and, and it's it, like, it's fine. And nobody will admit that they're too cold. And finally, I'm like, I can't, I can't go another day. Like my mind has left me. I can't do anything. I've got, we gotta turn the heat on. And we turn it on. And nothing. Nothing. That's what you get. So we go like another four days in the freezing cold waiting because of course they come in and they're like, oh, we got to get some parts. We got to order them in because it's, it's older than dirt. See, if course. you wouldn't have been so prideful and just said, let's turn on the heater, you would have, you would have had heat earlier. Yes. We would have actually had an enjoyable weekend. An enjoyable weekend. An enjoyable weekend. Wrapped around in the electric blanket plugged into the corner. Oh my, my poor dog was just a nightmare. So the whole thing, so let this be a lesson to everybody. Don't, don't be prideful. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't it's pay okay to be to macho. Be comfortable. It's okay to be, it's okay to be comfortable. I love to be comfortable. Yes. yes. So that is what I learned this week. So that cool. was pretty exciting. That's a good, good experience. Yeah, it was a good time. Um, so Keith, what are we doing today? What's on the What's on the sketch? The schedule today is I can't see Amory's patron, but I know we're going to uh, <laughs> attempt to give you some diagrams and some ideas for setting up your um, duck spreads. Yes, we've got a couple different uh, ideas, some different things that we're going to do. We're going to show you some quick layouts. I'll be able to discuss some of that with you. We also have an expert that we're going to bring in we a little sure bit do. later. And also this expert is really good with Excel boat. So if you have some Excel boat questions, yes, hit him up on those two. Now is your time. Uh, if you have Excel boat questions, now and you is can, your day. You can ask him how that new pro hole is. He took it out too and got to run it. See if he, right. see what he, see what he thinks about it. Yes. I, I think he likes it like we do. I think so. I do too. I, how can you not? I don't know. Awesome. All right. Well, let's uh, let's head over. Are we ready? Uh, yes. Let's see how this goes. Now, no judging for the way it looks because we're on a time limit, right? We sure are. Let's let's come over here. All right. So, everybody, let me first introduce you to our good friend, one of our best experts um, in the building, the man who knows more than just about anybody else, Mr. Dave Reynolds. Come on up come here, on Dave. Up, Dave. I thought you were going to say Keith. No. Uh, they know me. I'm just a turn. Yeah. No. Know. Nobody cares for Keith. So. Um, I'm the expert around here. You're the expert. Dave is our expert. Um, glad to have you here. Oh, thanks. Thanks, thanks for joining here. Those of you who follow... all the way upstairs. It's, so it's a long walk. walk all the way upstairs. I try to avoid I that as much as possible. <laughs> Good. Well, you know, thanks for the sacrifice. We appreciate it. Welcome to the shallow water. Um, so today we're going to talk about some of our favorite 
um, decoy spreads. Now you, of course, hunt more than most should. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Shit. Okay, let me say this. More than your wife wished you did. Perhaps. <laughs> Which still isn't enough. Still is not enough. And we have what? This is We're in Utah and you've got a 114 day season. Right. And you're exactly what? Six days into the season? Been, yeah, six days in. I've been, I've only been out four times. <laughs> See, so we have a real expert here, which yeah. is exciting. We need to be hunting more like Dave, but uh, yes. it's not going to happen. So your one piddly time out <laughs> yeah. doesn't, doesn't mean, mean anything. anything. Doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Got it. So I, of course, am, am not a duck hunter. I, I don't do it often. So I went to my, my expert, somebody that I trust that does a lot of hunting, my very good friend, J. Paul Jackson. And he has taught me all that he knows about this, uh, about his favorite decoy spread so I'm feeling pretty confident I'm, I'm feeling good about it I think I, I think I know what's going on <laughs> you think I think so I, ho I hope we both know but we I do know Dave knows <laughs> we're just trying to uh, pass on what we've learned <laughs> okay. from the people that are help uh, reaching uh, out uh, okay, I'll correct you. You'll, you'll correct me. well listen I also have a secret weapon I called Jay Paul just a few minutes ago and told him to make sure he is on and he should be here watching and will be able to respond and help me answer so team Jay Paul Jackson right here in the shallow water. Keith, what do you got going on? Can you match that? Can I match that? I don't know. I just went downstairs. I talked to my hunting buddy, Clint, who's our national sales for Mud Buddy downstairs. Mm -hmm. I think I've got my game going on, you know? And I actually do the hunting a little bit, but I, I just kind of do what I'm told when I go out there. <laughs> throw these over here, <laughs> throw those over there. But I, I, I think I know what I'm doing. Okay. I think How are you gonna... feeling? This is becoming a little competitive. I just a little bit, Dave, yeah. you know. Yeah. He won, he won the, the, the calling yeah. thing, so I, I'm gonna step right. up my game. All right, so, and Dave, so what about you? Who do you, who do you have? I just have myself. <laughs> ah, yeah. got it. You actually know what you're doing. Do I need you, know, you, don't need, yeah. you don't need anybody on I'm Team expert, Dave. Right? It's, you're the expert. Right. Got it, excellent. Yeah. So before we get started, I just wanna remind everybody, like and share. Uh, we really appreciate everybody watching, and we, if you like the video, like it. And share it. Yes, we had great comments last week. Come to hundred, a lot of shares. So I think we're doing pretty good. I think Room so. for improvement, but we're doing all right. Yeah, really good. We're trying for a couple duck hunters <laughs> 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 or wannabe. We're learning as we go. We but, are learning as yes. we go. All right. So to start out, we are going to do a little uh, little competition here. We're going to because it's the shallow water. So we are going to take one minute. Everybody will have one minute, and we are going to draw your pattern, your ducks, your decoy spread right here. And uh, after one minute, then we'll take some time to kind of explain it. All right, so, uh, All right. so everybody. We can, uh, so we can just put X's or O's, we don't have to draw a little duck. Yeah, here. let's do this uh, football coach style. Football coach style, okay. which will be easier yeah. because with one minute, I might get one so or two X's ducks X's and O's. X, right. X's and O's. All right. All right. Okay, everybody pen up. pen up. Now we've got two different colors. If you feel artistic at any time and feel like you want to add in some colors, Go you know, black. I, too, I'm going to go black. Go All black. right. Let the music begin. All right. <laughs> I'm not sure those are even X's, Keith. <laughs> hey, I've got one minute, bro. <laughs> I'm going with the O's. They look more like ducks. <laughs> okay, I gotta, let me think. Okay, let's see. This is the... Uh, is the X. Okay, now here I have a. This is my. This is my big one. This was the. Oh crap! I have. Okay. Okay, so, I'm done. Do I win? Oh my gosh! Okay, this is the. This is the blind. Oh, well, I could add a few things here. This guy's taking so long. <laughs> All right. I should have had a green pin for mine with my little Christmas tree. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Got it. All right, what happened here? Okay. Very nice. All right, so Keith, why don't you start out and tell us about this catastrophe. This catastrophe here, we went off the decoy spread kind of known as a Christmas tree. These We're the using, ornaments, right? Yeah, the ornaments are on the outside. We've got some nice red ones. The red ones indicate spinning wings or floaters. Hopefully you've got something that can churn the water 
like Clint happened to us last week when we were out there, had really good wind for about the first 40 minutes, and then it went flat. But we had our spinners and our water devices, I don't know what you call them, to spit up water so we can keep the ducks moving. So we just went outside, we went to the Christmas tree landing zone. We didn't shoot out of a boat last week, we shot in the cattails. We were in about, oh, two to three foot inside the cattails on our little Avery butt seats with our little stands and our little plastic crates that we stand on so you're not trying to shoot in the marsh in the mud so you don't fall over. So this worked really good for us. Um, always kind of want to know, and Dave will probably go into more, you always want to know which way the wind's coming. You want the wind at your back, the ducks are coming in or on the side so you get a nice shooting pattern. So, And you can adjust these to any environment that you have and everybody's going to tweak them a little bit to fit their needs or where that we were in a big huge pond we probably had five to six dozen in our spread and we used a, a mixed bag of a little bit of everything so take it away dave actually let's leave dave oh, for the last dave's going to oh. give us the real information let me tell you about mine so this is a uh, uh this is the j hook for j -hook. jeffrey or j paul see what we did there Yes, yeah, so it's just a uh, classic J, J position here. I like this position and Jay Paul does as well. When I say I, I mean Jay Paul. Um, I like this one because it gives you the opportunity to have two different landing zones here. Giving a little bit of a curve this way with the boat and the blind down in here. The wind coming this way. Am I coach enough for you? Now you're so. going to run up. <laughs> you're going to hit him. You're going to hit him hard. So we got our landing, and I did mine in red. My, I, I outlined my landing like, zone. This is where the kill zone. See the blood and yeah, the. I kind of got that. Yeah, well, over. Christmas Nobody tree. Cares. And the second landing zone here, right? Um, we're looking at you know about four to five dozen decoys in that, about five to six feet apart. Um, uh, this is a really good one if we've got a little bit of uh, stronger wind, having all the ducks facing uh, one direction outwards. Um, gives you a nice wide landing zone, and uh, like I said, the wind coming. I mean, this way, at your back. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure mine's the best. So, <laughs> all right, did right, we'll see. Okay, this is uh, more traditionally a field spread, but I don't hunt fields too often here in Utah, more water. So um, I use this typically in open water. And this is a good decoy layout with variable or changing wind directions. Obviously, you're not gonna have wind coming from four different directions, but what is typical here in Utah in many areas, you set up in the morning and there's a south wind and the wind will change in the afternoon. If you have a lot of decoys, obviously you, do, you don't really, you're not too crazy about going through the effort to change, especially a large spread. So this decoy layout is very versatile in that it works in every wind direction. So if you have the wind direction coming out of this um, north, then you could uh, you know, face north um, is set in the middle of the spread, so it is very critical that you conceal yourself well because all the eyes are on you. When the, deco the ducks are working your spread, they are looking right at you. So you need to be very well concealed. In fact, what we do out here, we hunt out of coffin blinds in very low cover, and I'll put uh, goose silhouettes around the coffin blinds and you know a dozen two dozen goose silhouettes and that breaks up your outline and helps conceal you even better yet if you have a dog you train your dog to sit in the coffin or let's say you have some cover you know 40 50 yards away place your dog here and if your dog doesn't do that you know i'd suggest you you look at training your dog to place away from you that comes in very handy so you have your dog placed here and you know the ducks don't catch the motion of the dog. So, you know, very versatile. If when the wind changes, you face the other direction. You could make, you could change, you could move a few decoys to have the bulk of your spread um, suitable to the to the wind direction. Obviously, it's coming out of this direction. You're facing that direction. You want bulk of your decoys to be here. You could have a few in this direction, um, but you will have some ducks, you know, decoying behind you as well. And a coffin blind. Typically, you have pretty good visibility, so you can see ducks sneak up on you. But it's fun and exciting because they could come, uh, they could surprise you. So that is the X. But for the record, my favorite decoy spread is just the U, the horseshoe. 
the horseshoe, but it's so close to the Christmas tree, J-hook, hunters right there, you have your decoys in a horseshoe, landing zone right there. Works for any wind direction, well, almost all wind directions. That is my number one, that's my number two, for the record. From the professional. From the professional. So what you're saying really is that Keith and I may be tied because we're pretty much the same. It's been... I have actually thrown a decoy out into the water, Jeff. Uh -huh. I don't know if that's going to help you or not. But... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> whatever. Well, excellent. That's great. Thank you so much, Dave. That's, that's, uh, right. that's helpful. That's good, and I hope, I hope you all enjoyed that. Keep sending in your questions and comments. We've had several come in, um, and we'll try and answer those, and we will ask the professionals as well um, when, when it gets to those. Um, if you have any more questions, I do have some some shout outs, but uh, let's go over and uh, get Grab comfortable. Seat. Yeah. All right, Dave, you take a All right. seat there and <sighs> here we are. That was a long walk. It's that was a long walk. It's, it's kind of hot in here. here. I know. <laughs> and you wanted me to wear my sweatshirt. <laughs> Remember how I was talking about how it was cold and like frozen for the yeah. last four days? <laughs> Compensate. I'm compensating. Yeah. Exactly. I'm trying to keep it warm in here, man. Still it cold to the bone, but the, the much of the is the internal stuff that's still a little bit, a little bit chilly. Oh, yes. So, who okay. are some of our sponsors today? Because I know some of the stuff that we're we're using, we're talking about. We've got some pretty good sponsors. Yes, and, of course. Uh, uh, so, a, tangle free being a big one. You've got a tangle free shirt on right it's now. It's a nice shirt. It, like you it. look, you're looking great and in I your like tangle free it. shirt. It's all the shirt. It's, it's nothing new with it. It's all the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Um, and then XL boats. Dave Scott has XL hat on right now, and um, I'm not wearing anything. Are you wearing shallow I'm wearing water? Our stuff. Shallow water I'm adventure. I'm myself. That's okay. That's all right. But, we've got um, but we also have Lucky Ducks, Lucky Duck decoys on as well. They're they're really great. We really enjoy them. And of course, Deep Apparel um, really sending nice. us out some some Deep really hat. great stuff as well. And yeah. of course. And of course, the trash talker. The trash and that talker. That would be Jeffrey. We're going to rename this the Jeffrey talker. <laughs> the, trash talker. <laughs> the trash talker, nickname AKA Jeffrey. The Jeffrey. <laughs> the Jeffrey. Yeah, I like it. I'll go mm -hmm. with that. I'll, I'll call Rick. Oh, maybe when you guys have him on the podcast no. in a week or two, maybe you can uh, talk to we him. Had him yesterday. Oh, we yesterday. had him yesterday. Oh, we did. We did that yesterday. Yeah. That is actually oh, going to go live on Tuesday. Tuesday. So keep an eye out. Check out. Uh, keep an eye for the the podcast. Oh, we did live not talk Tuesday. trash though. You didn't talk trash. No. He didn't. Well, he's he's like the expert. Like he can't really talk trash about you know Rick Dunn. Like he's, no, he's I mean, the man. You he know, builds them and he knows how to really really oh, use that thing. So no, he really yeah. does. Hats off to Rick Dunn and the boys of Echo, man. So do you know what I asked him? This is uh, hopefully he won't be too mad at me for saying this. <laughs> I my big question because we had just talked to Travis so much about the calling and everything. I was like, so oh, tell me about your your time in the competition circuit running these and he's like oh you know he's so humble he's such a great guy and he's like you know it was it was fun it was a good time and dave's like you won this one and this one and this one and he's like yeah i did it yeah it was nice <laughs> two-time world champion two-time world champ no, 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 no big deal 10 times in top 10 yeah, ten, yeah oh my goodness and he's just trying to be yeah. so humble about it and i was like do you miss it and he's like no <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if you've ever got to watch one of those, Jeffrey. I watched one a year or so ago, and I thought, that's pretty intense. And those guys out there, I'm like, yeah, no, I watched it for, it was about five minutes. That was about all I could, yeah. uh, all I could muster up. But They're fun it to was, watch. It's like playing oh, a man. musical instrument. It oh, really it's just, is. Sounds like it. Yeah. No, I'm, I think it's amazing. Um, all right. Some, uh, some shout outs here. We got Mark McEwen in. We got Jesse Casey, um, John Lovell. See, oh, Jason no. Archie, we've got is it Bo Smith. One of our dealers. Yeah, it's one yeah. of our dealers. John <laughs> Big Mac Marine. Shout out to John. Hey, John. Yeah, hey, John. John a couple times today. All right. 5,000 this weekend. Still doing break-in. The season starts in two weeks here in Oklahoma. I love this boat so far. Super excited to get in the mud. Yep. Bo keep, Smith, keep, fantastic. Yeah. Keep to keep keep to that uh, that break-in plan. It's that, really really important that you follow that. Yeah, especially with the five thousand. Yeah, especially yeah. with that five thousand. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Speaking of, uh, how much did you? Uh, I, I, you you got a chance to be in the salt the salty assassin. How fun was that? That uh, the other day. That was. That's pretty awesome. You're one of two people to actually run run this motor. Um, and Dude. Keith and I. Okay. He's number four. Okay, I, I guess parties, like times. Parties. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Twice. Yeah. Two yeah. times yeah. out. Yeah. And Dave. Yeah, so, so we're the first excited. one to get duck blood on it, though. 
Yeah. See, that is true. You took the kids out? Yes. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Good. It's awesome. awesome. How do you like you like that open floor plan of that pro? Yeah, it's I, nice. I really it does do. have a lot of room. Yeah. yeah. And it does have a gun box, so optional gun box. So you have a little storage. Yeah, nice. nice. But well, you're sitting She's on the like cooler. Jackets. Plenty of storage oh, in yeah. there, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Except yeah. us, we forget to fill yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> we didn't put anything in it when we went because we're. I put a couple root beers, uh, root beers, root beers in there. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it might still be in there. Probably cold. <laughs> They're probably, probably still be frozen. Cold that yeah. one. <laughs> All right, let's see. We got Jared Jenkins on. Joe Christensen says thanks for the tips. Uh, Okay, here's a good question for you, Dave. Bill Harrett, does the area of the country matter how you do your spreads? Southeast coast and swamps is where he goes. No, not necessarily. I think you'll find uh, you know similar spreads throughout throughout the country, southeast, uh, northwest. I think what varies is the species, the decoys you use. Obviously, you know that X on the X spread is not typically your mallard spread because it, it's difficult to. Uh, decoy mallards when you're in the middle of the spread. You know, they're, they're very, they have pretty good eyes. You know, that's probably more for a mixed puddler. Um, but, yeah, the, the spread itself I don't think changes. It's the uh, species or decoys you use. In some instances, you'll want to use all gadwall or widgeon. You know, the, there's a fly fishing. The fly fishermen go by and match the hatch, you know. And uh, for duck hunting and decoy spreads, you know, you, you, it's same principle, you match the hatch. You know, if you're uh, hunting a marsh where there's primarily coots, you put out most of the coot decoys right. and maybe a handful of ducks. You want to look as realistic as possible. If you're hunting an area that has almost all coots and you put out a dozen or five dozen mallards, <laughs> yeah, it's not going to look realistic. Right. So who, who was that? Let's just throw him the trash talker. I like so that, that was, question. That was Bill Harrett. Bill Harrett. Here, we're going to throw you an Echo Trash Talker, a.k.a. the Jeffrey. The Jeffrey. We're going to send you a Jeffrey. Um, there is a link at the top of the post. Click on that. You fill out the information. We'll get that sent off to you. Absolutely. Cool. Very cool. All right. Uh, Cody Lancaster, for you, um, prop spins in neutral slightly normal or is something wrong? HDR, I'm assuming. Um, slightly spinning, no, it's pretty much what they do. It's just part of the nature of the beast. If it's spinning extremely fast in neutral or can propel your boat in the water, give me a call at 801-617-1083. Oh that's, that my, that's my personal best line. That's, that's not your the best line. line. Gotcha. Yeah. Or email me at keith at mudbuddy.com. And if you want a cell number, I got that. And, <laughs> yeah, no cell numbers, guys. Sorry. There might be one or two people out there that have it, John. <laughs> um, looks like we've got a fan for you, Keith, Trevor Ladner. Trevor, talk to Trevor quite a bit. Yeah, he said, I just want to say thank you to Keith for all his help with my recent transmission issue. Y'all, customer service is second to none. Well, thanks, Trevor. Well, I, you I appreciate that. I try hard. Some days you can really make them all happy, and some of them, <laughs> it's just not what they want to hear, and unfortunately... Right. We have got, I have guidelines set down from, from Glenn and my boss, Bill, that has to follow within these parameters. And if it doesn't, it's just yeah. one of those things that I hate to say, but you have to say it sometimes. You're out right. of warranty. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, Travis over at BPS is on as well, helping to answer some questions. Travis, you're the man. I really, really appreciate it. Thank and, you so much. And for, for those of you who missed Travis last week, awesome caller, champion. Give him a call. Shoot him a text, an email. Yes. He will answer your duck calling yeah, questions. Any duck calling question. And if you missed last week's episode, it is up on YouTube right now. You can go over there and watch him and his amazing calling. He's ridiculously good. Yeah, he made us look bad. Uh, I mean, not even bad. <laughs> like we. I mean, I didn't say. Sound like a couple. Sounded <laughs> like a couple two-year-olds. <laughs> yeah. It's like a kazoo. That was me. That's was more kazoo style. Yours was all about the facial expressions, Jeffrey. Not your calling. It was your facial expressions oh, on that. That was the best. Part. It was pretty fun. I enjoyed it. It was, I had it a, was good a good time. time. I now I practice in my car like Dave does. I just <laughs> drive along with it. Are you a kazoo or are you a duck call? <laughs> <laughs> Probably both. one day I'm gonna show up and just call the crap out of it. You just be like, "Wow, Jeffrey, you're amazing." That's what's gonna happen someday. Someday. Must be a good uh, question. Uh, what are, uh, or are you deciphering it? <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. Um, this is Cody again. What about sometimes it's so bad? This is about the the 
wobble in the or the prop spin. Um, what about sometimes so bad you can stop it unless you you can't stop it unless you really try? I think like you probably give, yeah. Give call. me a call. Yeah. yeah, definitely give me a call. Got it. At, at that number that I shouted out earlier and talk to you a little bit about it. Yeah. See what's going on. Yeah, better shape than sorry. Oh yeah. You have nothing better to do. No. So what I do, I talk on the phone. You do. And you're all the best all day long. If I could get paid by the word. If you <laughs> Oh man. You could renegotiate your contract. Yeah, there you go. Fun. Time to sit down. <laughs> Absolutely. Ben Hoffman watching from Iowa going to hit it hard this weekend. Ben. All right. Nice. Send well, me some pictures. That's what I want to see. I want pictures. And I said that last week. Um, now, as we're ramping into duck season, I love to have your pictures. I love to share them. So anything you send us, um, just uh, like any of those, you can send it on a private message to the Excel page or the, the Mud Buddy page. All those kind of end up on my desk. So I love to repost them and share them with the whole world. Um, and let me say one more time, too, while I'm here, like and share, everybody. If you like what you're seeing or you have suggestions, like it, share it. Uh, we want to keep going, and, and we'd love to see that. So. We need to get some more stuff away. It's just sitting here. All right, we'll do it. All right. I'm going to go. Who was that one that just gave a comment from Iowa? That was Ben. That was Ben, ben Hoffman. Ben, hey, how about a Tangle Free Hat? Yes, there it is. Hat for opening day. There you go. New hat. Day. Tangle Free Hat for opening day. Click the link above the top of the post and uh, fill out that info. We'll get that sent off. And um, they have all the rigging and stuff you need for your decoys. They do. They've got a lot of great stuff. They've got a lot of good stuff, and so does Lucky Duck. All of our, yeah. our sponsors have good stuff. So No, they're really great. They've been so them. nice to us, and okay. they're, they're, just, they're all incredible. Only the best uh, for us. Bo Smith, I'm at 2.8 hours right now. This is breaking in his motor. Um, how many hours do you recommend for total break-in? This will be a 5,000. I'm, I'm 5,000? I would, I would run it four to six hours. Just give it a good break-in, you know, just... Take care of it. You, yeah. you spend a lot of money on that thing, and to get out there and run it like you stole it in the first hour or two, it's not worth it. Right. Take your time. Take your time. It's an investment. Yes. Don't. Yes. Keep. Uh, yeah. Keep just vary the speed. You know, keep the speed up and down, and and don't lock it in at half throttle or full, or full throttle for over 30, 40 seconds. Just kind of vary it up and down. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, for you, Dave. This is Justin. Bonker, Boenker. Um, what do you do when you just can't get the wind to cooperate? <laughs> or there's no wind. Or there's no like wind. Like last Thursday. <laughs> Motion decoys. Then you'll put out you know, majority, well, maybe not majority, but you know, swimmers. You know, Lucky Duck has several good models, feeders, swimmers. Uh, you know, Wonder Duck, you got to put motion on the water. Uh, Lucky Duck even has these little, I forgot what they're called, but they're little discs you throw out in the spread. Right. And they shake. Um, but I've been in situations where I've, you know, just dead calm and I've put out six, seven motion decoys. Yeah. You know, majority swimmers, maybe a handful of regular decoys. You just want to make it look realistic. So. <laughs> and that, that's tough. But I've had some incredible hunts on days. It's just dead calm. Just no dead wind. calm. Yeah. yeah. So you just See. never know until you get out there. So it's possible. Yeah. Awesome. Um, Mud Buddy Motors posted. I think that might be Jay Paul. I'm not sure who's on who's on the account right now. My good buddy. But he says, uh, I love the Jay set. That would be Jay Paul. So I'm pretty sure it's Jay Paul. Come on, Jay Paul. <laughs> <laughs> now, is Come that, on. Is that Jay because of the shape or because of Jay Paul? <laughs> That's the question. I think it's both. Probably. Yeah, it's the, it's the J hook for J Paul. Absolutely. Nice J Paul. Good job. <laughs> Austin Bonzel. This is a good question. What do you think of the Ducks Waterfowl Boat Giveaway? Now this is so great. So Ducks is Andrew Flair, who right. is one of our pro staffers. And he is awesome. We really, really like him and uh, I, I love his videos and he does such a good job, all of the Guggen squad does. Um, they're big hunters and they're just getting into their season right now. Um, and we really appreciate him. He has one of our, he's got an F4 with a, I believe it's a 40, a 40 EFI on the back of it. Um, and he loves that boat, but unfortunately, not unfortunately, fortunately for the rest of you, he is giving that boat away, I think in March. In March. He's gonna give that boat away. Um, so you're all really lucky. We're really excited for him to do that. He calls that boat the Squeaker Seeker. The Squeaker Seeker. Yeah, that's what he's named it. Um, he He's a big fisherman, and uh, he has a bad habit of catching the smallest fish of the group. And so yeah, he's catching the Squeaker, so it's catching, the Squeaker Seeker. Catching is know? better than just standing uh, there. That's what I'd say. With a pole in your hand. So, um, so we're really excited for that. If you haven't entered to win that boat, definitely do that. Um, cause that, and that will go in March, but if you can't wait until March to win a boat, 
make sure you have entered because we're going to give a boat away in November. Another one? Yeah, well, our boat. Yes, it's the not our boat. Not the not salty. No, not the no, salty. No, no, no. We but just the boat, boat. No, it's been running for a while. Your last day to enter our 25th anniversary giveaway. Your last day is on Halloween, midnight of Halloween, the witching hour. The witching that's hour. That's what they call that. Okay. I don't know if you know that. No. Key. No. no. But that's that's the witching hour. Halloween. Us older guys don't kid you all that. I know. Well, you your know. kids should have told you some. I don't know. I got all girls, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm dad. I, I, they don't talk dad, to me. You don't. Uh, unless yeah. they say dad. And they give me that look. And then I just reach for my wallet. <laughs> that's all I do. Just reach for my yeah, wallet. Reach for your wallet. And I think, well, I'm not going to go buy your house today. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's good. Um, but yeah, that, so enter to win. Um, we'll post that comment up here, or you can just go to any of the websites or any of the Facebook pages, um, Excel or or Mud Buddy, enter to win. Cause can we enter to win? No. No, okay. you sure can. Um, but yes, yeah, so your last day to enter is October, and then a week later or so, we'll begin to make those announcements, or at least let you know when we're going to make that announcement and how that's going to happen. I don't know if you remember last year, we sent Jay Paul, my good buddy, my our team Jay Paul, went out and um, he delivered that boat. Yeah, to the winner. It was really awesome. It was and kind the, of a moving the, moment. It was really amazing. Yeah. And the cool thing about that is he, as he went along, he yeah. stopped by Mud Buddy and he saw boat dealers along yep. the way and, and said hi and visited with them and, and that. So that was pretty cool to kind of follow his journey yes. through the country and hit some of our uh, some of our great local dealers along the way. Yeah, it was a good road trip. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was fun. I'm glad I didn't have to do it. But <laughs> Better in the it's summer, fun. though, than in the winter. Yeah. It's like... So we need to get some more stuff away. I'm in a give it away mood. Okay, I, here's a good one. I've got a good one for you. This is um, this is Kyler Easterling. He says, large marshy area, mostly cattails with little pockets of water, 15 by 15, woodies, mallards mostly. How would you set decoys? Very few, so you don't push them another pocket or so. Would, would you go, would you go a do? I don't, I'm not sure if I read that right, but so give us a what's what's your call on that? Fifteen by fifteen. Well, that's very small. Yeah, yeah a little area. Yeah. Probably no more than a half a dozen five decoys, and I just put them right in the middle of the hole, yeah. right in the middle of the pothole. Right. Um, you know, you, you, you have very little calling. Um, you know, I hunt in some small potholes too, and you know, typically you don't need don't need many decoys. No. Don't need much calling. Less and more. you need a very good dog because uh, every duck you're gonna down is gonna go in the cattails. Go in the cattails. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One of my one of so, my. So kill them dead. Kill them yeah. dead. Shoot Make them run way down in the river. water. There yeah. you go. Yep. Yeah. I hunted with a friend uh, a couple years ago, and we walked uh -huh. into a spot, and it was probably probably fifty by fifty. We had one spinning wing and four mallards because that's what we were hunting, and we knocked them dead. Yeah, and you just crushed. That's them. all we had. I mean, because we walked in a mile and a half, so. <laughs> one box of shells, your gun, and we all had one decoy, and one guy carried the spinning wing, yeah. and we knocked yeah. him dead That's in the little It's exciting shooting. Yeah, that is. It was yeah. fun because boy, they come dropping in there and just yeah. yeah. But finding them in the cattails and your poor dog gets a workout. One yeah, day. that's tough. That's <laughs> tough. And that was number five shot too. Yeah, was number five <laughs> shot. Yeah, we're we're gonna go with uh, the lucky oh. duck tumbler. Everybody, that's the one. I should say everybody at my buddy house. <laughs> there's a couple people that have them here. Oh, here we go. And they enjoy them very much. <laughs> we sure do. Yes. You should, someday, you maybe, should check that out, Keith. Maybe I'll call my buddy Bill. You might, you might have to. They're really <laughs> awesome. So Kyle, or Kyler, sorry. Kyler, Kyler Easterling, that's for you. Click the link, uh, and we'll get that sent off to you. Jackson Hill, hey guys, how's the hunts been? That, that's mostly you, Dave. How's, yeah. how's it been? <laughs> yeah, it's been good. You know, we're about a week and a half into the season, and, um, yeah, we've had, we have a lot of birds. Yeah, I've had some good hunts. Um, been shooting quite a few mallards this year so yeah. far. Um, so I would say, you know, we had uh, we had a little cold front that came through. Uh, finally, we've had extremely yes. <laughs> extremely warm fall 80s, and then the weather just turned, and it was perfect timing. It was right before duck season. So I think that's yeah, that's that helped. helped a lot. Yeah, yeah but yeah, even with the dry season, season, we've had yeah. yeah. Um, for you, Keith, um, I have a 44 EFI on a, an 1854 Gator tracks and. Uh, and can turn a new big blade wide out at 4150 RPM. Do you think I can turn a hammer prop? Uh, it would be close. It would be close. Because it's a, it's a full inch bigger, so it doesn't seem like a lot, but that's a lot more surface that you're trying to spin in the mm -hmm. water. You definitely could if we did a gearing change, but, you know, I'm going to go back to it. You know me. I love the big blade. I'm a you big blade big guy. Blade. It's, yep. it's been around 
longer than I've been here at Mud Buddy. I'm just a great all-around prop. And he's yeah. got a Gator Tracks boat, great boats, heavy. Heavy. So yeah, you run in a hammer, you're gonna you're gonna struggle to get it up on the water yeah. if you've got a good size load in it too. You need if you're gonna run the hammer, you've gotta gear it down. Have to. Got it. Rob Rasmussen, with the cold weather fast approaching, is there anything that can be used to help keep wait for it? The throttle cable from oh. freezing. Bum bum bum. I can't wait. We're doing that <laughs> next week. And we had a little planning meeting this morning between Jeff and Ambry and I. We've got some cool stuff coming up. Yes. There's a bunch of stuff you can do to keep your throttle cable from freezing. His favorite is Jim Beam. Jim, <laughs> Jim Beam's a good one. You know, little on the cable, yeah. little in the glass. Yeah. Um, you gotta loosen them both up. So the, the, the main cause of your throttle cable freezing is you've got water in the housing. Pull your cable off, run a bunch of WD-40 on until it runs out into, I like to use a garbage can or something because I don't want to get it all gooey and WD-40 everywhere. Just get it good and coated. WD-40 displaces the water. That's the problem. It's trapped water in the cable. Yeah. If you don't get rid of the water, it will freeze. And I'm sure there's many guys out there who can tell you warming it up, urinating on it, or however you get it to, to defrost, as soon as you get on that open water and it's cold, it's gonna freeze on you again. So take your cables out now prep them. We've got a great show coming up next week. I'm really yeah. excited because we're going to do some things that we've heard and I've heard over the last few years of being in customer service of, of a lot of the silly, yeah. dumb... Yeah, so like uh, My Buddy Mythbusters. Yeah, yeah. It's like a My Buddy exactly. Mythbusters. There we go, dude. Yeah, I, right like there. I like it. Yeah, maybe we have to dress up with the black glasses <laughs> and stuff and, and really pull that off. Yeah, but that's going to be a great show, but you've got to get the water yes. out of the cable. WD-40 works good. Um, some guys talk about using a Motorcycle um, link and chain lube, antifreeze works really good too. Yeah. And a syringe. I've yeah. also had talked to guys who will put about an inch or two of antifreeze in a bucket and just throw their cable yeah. in there, coiled up, and let it sit in right. there. Let it sit in there. But yeah. get it out before the season starts. And it's really called the 151 round works. <laughs> 151? You need, you need higher <laughs> alcohol. <content. laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, flame, yeah. flame will not be your friend, and we will show you why yeah. next week. Yeah. So let's uh, let's. I, a... I've got one. So I am gonna give. I want to give away that deep hat. The deep hat. Right there. That deep really hat. Nice. I'm gonna send that off to uh, Tiffany Schuster. Tiffany, Tiffany is watching from Ontario. Canada or California? Yes. Um, I'm gonna go with Canada on this one. Um, she asks, uh, "Have any of you hunted ducks or geese here in southern Ontario? You ever been up there?" Uh, no, but I grew up hunting in Michigan, just across the lake. Across in fact, lake. Detroit is the only place in the U.S. where you look south into Canada. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've always wanted to hunt uh, Wapu Island and, and Lake Ontario. I've hunted Lake St. Clair, just the other side of the river right. and from yeah. Canada. Yeah, so. you're, that's close. Nope, haven't, haven't, haven't ventured that far out. Not that far north? No, nope. up in Idaho and Montana, very little, but right. yeah, no. Okay. i got to find somebody to pay for it. Okay. And get the time off. <laughs> and get the time off. <laughs> Tiffany, that is for you. Click the link above, fill out that info, and we'll get that sent off to you. Heather Olson, uh, thank you for the info on the spread setups. Let's see if I can outsmart my husband the next time we go out. <laughs> hey, Heather, <laughs> let's throw Heather, because you know what? We're, we're getting some ladies on the show. We are. So we're really going to have to start catering. Let's throw Heather the Mallard Madness with the Echo Boys, Rick Dunn. And his buddies that go out there, yeah. and our friend, I almost forgot his name, but it's Fast Freddy. Fast Freddy. Freddy. Yeah. And his boys. His boys. They, they've got some cool stuff that they do, and it's a really, they're really good video. So we're going to throw her Mallard Madness 12. Mallard Madness 12. Number 12. Good stuff. Good stuff there. Do you think, do you think the reason for all the ladies is this? It's the bald head. It's the bald head, right? Don't you think? I don't know. I think so. I'm going to go with that. <laughs> <Sleep there. laughs> Um, Michael Stambaugh, gonna make duck boat blinds again. Um, here at Mud Bunny, we don't make those, but our good friends over at BPS will. They, they do. So Travis, who is watching, he's your man. So get over there and uh, they'll get you hooked up with a blind. Yeah, they yep. make a great blind. Yeah. They've got a couple different <laughs> styles and give them a call and they'll hook you up. Mm-hmm. All right. 
Something about like and share. Oh, yep. He said that. He Travis is even faster than I. He's, he's getting through these quicker than I am. So he's already said that. Yes. <laughs> what, like and share or? Uh, not the like and share, but he answered that uh, that blind question oh, before gotcha. I got to it. So, you know, we're just having a little bit here. down, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Get to work. Bradley Sneed, how are the ducks flying? Corey. Corey Watson is on. Hey, watching. Corey. How Corey. Are you? Hey, Corey. Love you. How's the babies? We miss you. All of that good stuff. Um, so many here. Good info. Oh, we've got L Linda Miller. Hello, Linda. Hey, Linda. Uh, let's see. Jackson Hill, do you guys put the sun? Oh, okay. For you, uh, do you guys put the sun to your back, your face, or to your side? Or do you base it on the wind and cover? That's a good question. Ideally, sun to your back uh, because that puts you in the shadows. And, and secondly, it puts the sun in the duck's face. Right. So they cannot see you. Uh, sun in your face is difficult for two reasons. One, it's difficult to shoot. You yeah, see the duck looking shoot. at the sun. Exactly. Secondly, that sun is shining right on your face. I mean, if you don't have a face mask or camo, uh, you, you stand out. So ideally, you know, yeah. sun to your back, definitely. So, uh, you know, set up, you can set up differently in the morning than the afternoon. In fact, in smaller areas, you could change uh, positions in the morning and the afternoon to use the sun to your advantage. Yes. It's amazing how many different things you can do throughout the morning, the afternoon, the day hunts just by, and it's mainly knowledge of going out and doing it. Right. And I think one thing we, you know, I don't hunt a ton like Dave, but I think the biggest thing is scouting. If you want good successful hunts, you've got to get out there and do some work and find where they're at, find their habits. Because if you just go... It's just, you know, yeah. you're whizzing in the wind. How about that one? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah there's a lot yeah, of work to it. Yeah, I'll take and a few days just to scout during the season. You know, oh, yeah. Just go out and scouting, especially mid-season, trying to find some new spots. And... Absolutely. And that was one of Freddie's big things, too, is, uh, in getting ready for duck season. you got to scout. you got to know where you're yeah. going. you got to know where you're the going. The terrain changes, and, yes. things like that happen. You've got to check it out. Well, I, I, you mentioned something about that the other day, Dave. You went out to one of your spots. It's been a couple of years, and you're like, Mm, kind of looks different here. Yeah, you know, exactly. everything yeah, grows yeah, and year year. phragmites and cattails, boy, they're like weeds. Yeah, <laughs> they grow. They they're, grow. Absolutely. They're, uh, they're insanely fast <laughs> growing. Yeah. So I, I never go without my GPS <laughs> and my program. There's a, on the X, it's an app that you can get on your phone. And oh, that, cool. That's an awesome app. See, and that's how we you remember. use that in conjunction okay. with my GPS, and there's no way you can get lost. And see, hopefully somebody learned something out there from yeah, that. Yeah, ho you know? hopefully. You always got to. You got to mark those spots that you don't want anybody yeah, else to exactly. get into. You mark the spots on both GPS. I have a friend. I have a friend that that's the only way you can get into this one place he goes. It's all GPS. GPS if it. you just took off, you yeah. will never yeah. find yeah. it. Yeah. All right, Bradley Sneed, how do we register register for the boat giveaway? You're going to register by clicking the link that is on um, either the. Uh, Mud Buddy website or the Excel website. There are links right up near the top that you can click. That will take you to a place um, where you will you post on Facebook and you post in Instagram and some of these. And you can have up to I believe it's like five entries to win if you do all of the, all of the steps. So that's what you do. Also here on Facebook, it's right off to the side, right there. Yep, it's on that side. Got it. Um, Adam Martin, <laughs> watching from BMC, guys. Build your motor crates. Build your I motor love the motor crates. crates. That's what he says. Our guys, right right, right our across, guys the right across the street. Yeah. They make our crates. And they, they do a great job. That's you know? awesome. It's nice having them just to drive across the parking lot with a yeah, forklift full of wood yeah. crates. It's really convenient compared to the old days oh, yeah. when they showed up in a semi. Yep. And if they dropped them out of the back of the truck, yeah. it looked like toothpicks yeah. when they were yeah. done. Yeah. Just so they built quality it. stuff next door. Um, Tiffany from from up north that we talked about, uh, she hunts the Detroit River from the south. Okay, great, yeah. yeah. Very awesome. good hunting there. Very good. And then Heather, who we also talked about, um, is in southeast Michigan. Great. So yeah, Michigan awesome. gals, huh? There yeah, yeah. They knew Dave was on today and he was from Michigan. So. From Michigan. Or Matt, yeah. Matt Ratt, Michigan, so did you guys make it into Wisconsin? You ever been up into Wisconsin? Nope. We've got some Wisconsin people watching. Not right. uh, not hunting. I've we driven ought to, through. We ought to try and get up there sometime. That sounds like a very cold situation. Yeah, good cheese and beer there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Don't know about the duck hunting. Those are my yeah. two favorite things. So it can't be a waste. I mean, <laughs> even if there are no ducks, I'm still in. 
Um, is there any benefit to running a big blade on a stock 40 HDR over the Raptor? Pushing a heavy 1860 at 23 miles an hour, about 4,500 RPM. 4,500 RPM yeah. um, with a three blade. Um, he's, he's in the power range. Um, the, the two blade is going to give you a little more up out of the hole, get yeah. you going. Get you going. You lose a little bit on the top end with the, with yeah. the big blade, but it'll move the load and get it rolling faster. Than the three blade wheel but if he's running 4500 rpm he's up in the up in the power range of that motor oh, he's smiling you know? <laughs> <laughs> we got uh, michelle webb talking about how she does uh, it's first time for me seeing a mud buddy motor in person it's too pretty to get wet <laughs> <laughs> the low looks pretty sweet <laughs> yeah um they look prettier when they're all covered with mud up there i don't agree with that yeah. A salty assassin does not look pretty <laughs> covered in mud. Covered all in that. And duck blood. Mud, I, I didn't do that. I, we're probably never going to get to do it. But, uh, so I know. Somebody needs to. Yes. And it's got it's to get a little blood on there. I mean, it is an assassin after all. Yes. I mean, it's got to get a little blood. We'll get some on there eventually. We'll get some on there. If Dave will ever take us out. If he falls and scrapes his knee. <laughs> if he falls and scrapes. Yeah, that would be a funny one. Oh, <laughs> true. <laughs> All right, uh, that is we, about all we had today. Have we no, given everything away? Let's. No, we got one more Sitka hat with the Excel logo. I'm all looking right. maybe for one of our sisters out there. All right. Do we have another sister out there that would like an Excel Sitka we do. hat? Let's see. Who did I just? Michelle. Yeah, Michelle Webb. Michelle Webb. First time she likes her clean. She likes a clean mud buddy. Uh -huh. She's saying hat. driving. We got a clean just picked up. Yeah, we got a clean up. Sitka hat for you. Yes. Appreciate you being a first time. Absolutely. Michelle Webb, because they're driving home with their boat right now. That's oh, what they're saying. Yeah. Sweet. So they got us. So that is really exciting. So enjoy that hat. That's awesome. And don't let your husband tell you that you can't drive it because we have <laughs> Ambry who's with us a lot. You've seen the size of little Ambry. If she can drive that boat, Oh Anybody yeah, can drive oh, yeah. Boat. twelve year old boy. Actually, he was eleven last <laughs> year. He was eleven last year when he was driving yeah. it. And, and just to, to let you guys know, Ambry is not twelve years old. <laughs> she may look like she's twelve, but she's a little bit older than that. And a mother of two. <laughs> she just got her driver's license. <laughs> mother of two, but she's so tiny. It looks like how old is that young lady? I'm like, she's a mother of two. She's a little <laughs> over twenty, twenty ish, but uh, yeah. not the twelve year old they're thinking that's no, running out. No, absolutely. Right. Awesome. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for watching. Dave, thanks for, uh, for joining us today. My pleasure. I really appreciate it. Uh, we've had a good time. Hopefully, that was... I liked it. Were you okay? I'm really looking forward right. to next week. I want to <laughs> see want fire. Week. I want to <laughs> see flame. Yeah, uh, yes. that one's, that one's going to get crazy. So tune in next week. That'll be at 3 o'clock p.m. Uh, Mountain Standard Time right here on our Facebook channel live. In the back shop, I and we're gonna be Not in the office? We're not going to be up here in my office. Okay. Oh, no. You can blow up anything? Uh, yeah, remember, <laughs> remember to like and share. Uh, if, if you have any suggestions, things you want to see as well, keep, keep throwing those our way. Um, comment in this post. Um, also, um, no, I just forgot what I was going to say. I was going to say I had one more important You're thing. You're going to say thank you to Echo Calls Tank yes. Free Excel Boats, Lucky Duck, and Deep Apparel. Good those are the ones. Good those job. Are, those are the ones. Yes. Hey, you know, they're good enough to let us to give their stuff away. We got to be good enough to shout their shout names out. out and. We love absolutely, their and we use a lot of their products um, too. That's I, the cool thing. Yeah, they sure do. They're they're so great. Um, I did have a Bill. Um, I don't remember his last name, but he he wrote it. I put up a link on this page for Deep Apparel, and it's the wrong one. Oh. And he sent me that a couple of times. Um, so everybody, do be aware. I will repost that once we're done, so you'll be Way able to, to get into the Jeff. right one. So sorry, Deep Apparel. I will get that up correctly in just a second. You know. It's, it's just, all thumbs all on thumbs. that phone, <laughs> writing that in there. <laughs> well, you it, are real. You have been really busy doing a bunch of upcoming stuff. We have so much stuff. You, you guys, just just keep an eye on everything because never a dull moment. Kicking high knee and taking knees. Yeah. Thanks. All right, we're gonna end it right here. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. You've been in the shallow water. Join us next week, and we will 